All right. Uh, welcome back to Whiskey Buds. I'm Kurt. Billy. And the whiskey of the week this week, we will be drinking Whistle Pig. That's our first Whistle Pig we've had on the show. This one is the Piggyback. It looks red on the screen there. Right? I thought you were popping out some raspberry syrup. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm not drinking that. <laughs> yeah, you're like, no. We, we've already done liqueurs on the show. <laughs> like, that was that was bad enough. Whistle Pig. Eight, yeah. Six years and you haven't opened it yet? No. Piggyback. 100% rye. Yeah. 96.56 so, proof. Yeah, so whoever did the piggyback they decided 96.56 percent was the exact you know proof that 100 percent rye tasted best at and this is an import from canada so it is canadian rye uh whistle pig uh -oh. is also a, a well known in the rye like they do they do rye whiskeys and they figured six years is the perfect aging with 100 percent rye at 96.56 percent and or proof and that's that's supposed to be the the right for you, I guess, like a right for everybody. I don't know. Even though they do a 10 year and other stuff. I like on the bottom here it says, together we ride. Yeah. <laughs> Which, of course, think uh, think about the one whiskey we had on the show, the Wyoming whiskey, the Outrider. Which was supposed to be their rye whiskey, but then wasn't. So they called it the Outrider instead of the Wyoming whiskey rye or whatever they call it. So we ride together, right? The Outrider, like, I don't know. This is a really nice design of this label in this bottle actually really does like look it. good doesn't it yeah that's the first time you've commented on a bottle in a while and he turned it backwards to you guys can you believe that turned turned the well, i wanted to look at the it. piggyback <laughs> you get the back they, yeah they do actually say on there like here's a here's a piggyback ride for you right like mm -hmm. so it does have like a reddish tint to it kind of it thing. really does yeah. like not quite like it, it's on the, on the camera, it really shows red based on this background. So oh. I think maybe... No, but I, it does have a light. Like, well, when we put it up to the lights here, it doesn't seem quite like it. It looks... optical illusion here. Actually, that whistle pig in the back looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. But you can't see it, but... see, there's I this, do like when they imprint stuff on the glass yeah, like that. I got the, the WP right here that I'm sure you can't see. But when we hold it up to the lights, it like really shines through the whiskey and actually looks really cool so what you should do is go buy a bottle and so that you can check it out for yourself hold it up to the sun <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so i've never uh, no actually i have tried a whistle pig whiskey one time but it was made in an old-fashioned and it was right after i had a stag junior old-fashioned so so you didn't know what was going on yeah <laughs> hmm. it does do smell think? like right it does I'm thinking it smells like a good rye, but okay. smells can be deceiving. Yes. Uh, one of these days, we got to go back to like Bullet Rye and Rendezvous Rye to see what you think of those, to see if your palate has, has matured. You know what? <sighs> and that you actually enjoy them now. I remember some of those being like really spicy and kind of yep. oily, yeah. which I didn't really like. Mm -hmm. But last week, we tried that Baby Blue, Blue. Yeah. Balcones, and it was kind of spicy and oily. Yeah, and you're like, this is so good. But you had to do it in small sips right i liked it but maybe it wasn't as spicy as the rice that were oh yeah so now when we this week when we come into a rye you're like okay wait a minute like like i i, I was getting some spice some you know out of that baby blue but all right now when we get real spice like that was pretty mild see what you're trying to do to me here <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying I to comment to i like the, i like the spice from the baby blue yeah last you're like, week. all, right, like, here all you go. right let's see how much you like spice hmm there's something in there right like hey, i smell i smell the rye but there's something else that's like i wonder if i'll tell me because i want to know okay. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. it definitely smells like rye um that no, doesn't tell me it maybe it's pig <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of bacon grease yeah, that's it right like it's going to be a bit a bit greasy for you i don't know well, he was looking. I should have sipped so that we tried it. But all right, I'm ready because so. I can't. I could smell this all. Day. It's, it's got a very intriguing mm. scent. Mm. All right, all right. Yeah, you need to try it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's warming my belly. Definitely Ooh. got that rice spice. 
Oh, yeah. Now, that's interesting. Uh-huh. That isn't like the other rice I remember. I don't think so. It's smooth. It's got a nice, smooth yeah. spice. It really does. Yeah. It's not that's... rough spice like the ones I remember. Yeah, so uh, Ooh, it's like I said, we got to try to come back to those. But, yeah, like, anyways, no, no, this no. one here, without even no, worrying no, no, about no. that, like, these are, this is... Mm -mm. The only rye that might compare to this one is the Balcones, I think. Oh, yeah. The rest but, of them are trash. But but that's not quite a fair comparison. Trash. <laughs> when we have like 120 proof to 96 proof. <laughs> this is really pretty good. Right? What is going on here? I don't know. Billy is enjoying a rye whiskey, which, you know, not made by Balcones. Oh, man. It's, it's smooth. It, it is a bit oily. Mm-hmm. Um, it's almost sweet. I wouldn't call it sweet, mm -hmm. but it like kind of is sweet. But I still wouldn't call it like like it's no. Um, uh, it's no, not I, like I would. You know, like no. if you ever have a strawberry that's not real ripe and juicy, it's just like kind of like a Walmart strawberry, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just got like that slight bit of sweetness to it. That's the kind of sweetness I'm tasting in this. Okay. It's like the, just the ever so slight. It's enough, yeah. to, enough to give you a little sense of sweetness. But like okay. You can't. So it's not sweet. It's a, a. It has a sense of sweetness. That's really what we're talking about here. Yeah. It's like if somebody. Ah, yeah. It, it puts a little sweetness on your, on your nose while you're drinking it, but you can't really taste it. Okay. Yeah. Smells sweet without tasting necessarily sweet. Um, with 100% rye, like yeah. Oh my God, they're like, it's so complex flavored. Yeah. Like the other rice seem like it's just a, a single spicy note. Okay, <laughs> yeah. And this one's like, feels like a well blended spiciness of a whole bunch of- Rye like bread I, sandwich or something? Sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, it feels very refined. Like this feels like the most refined rye or like, not refined, but like um, fancy. It's like a fancy rye. You know, I think it's probably the oldest rye we've tried on the show. Six years? Yeah. I don't think any of the other ryes we've had. We haven't had the Pendleton 12-year rye, the 1910 or whatever they call it. Um, I had a bottle of it somewhere, but I think it's, yeah. We still got a little bit. It kind of tingles the tongue a little bit on the aftertaste. Yeah. 100% Canadian rye whiskey, 12 year. But I know that the bottle is almost gone, but this stuff is way better. How much and is I want to say, I want to say it was 50 bucks. And this was 40 bucks. And I would spend the $10 all day long, every day, to buy that over this 12 year stuff. Hmm. Oh, yeah. But yeah this stuff's. Now, I, I like the taste better than the scent on this. It did smell okay. good, but yeah. like. But the taste is it even better. It definitely tastes better than it smells. Yep. Yeah. You know, if we go back to that one Widow Jane, you know, from a three weeks back, four weeks back, whatever it was, that smelled good and then just was okay. Like, That's worse. That's the worst. I, right? Yeah. I would rather it taste better than it smells. Than yeah. Because you're smelling yeah. it, you're like, all right, this is going to be good. You know, this is going to be all right. Then you taste it, you're like, whoa, that's good. Mm -hmm. And then, then you smell it, like that one, and you're like, oh, man, this should be good. And you taste it, and you're like, eh. Like, eh. <laughs> Although you can go too far, kind of like that. Well, lip service, and you like smell it, and you're like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to try oh, yeah. this." <laughs> no, yeah, lip, so lip service was interesting, but I'm thinking that uh, I think there was another Glenn Fittick, um XX or Glenn something, Fittick. the licorice Whoa. farts. That's <laughs> you're like there might have been no, a couple. Yeah, there was there was a couple where you were just like, no, I don't I don't want to try it. Like, no, like <laughs> I'm you, good. you you taste it. Like I want to see you drink it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like so, there's food. If you smell food and it like you know you're like, nah, I don't like yeah, that smell. Yeah, is this you're is this even supposed it. to be eaten? Yeah. yeah, it's like there's a reason you have a nose, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but this this one, shoot, I like this one. This one blends, comes together. It smells good. It tastes even better. Yeah, like I'm happy with it. Like that's the smoothest ride. It's just like so easy to just. To, to sip on, right? Mm -hmm. And then it, it's so flavorful, too, that you don't have to, like, sip a lot. Like, yeah. A lot of the rice I have to kind of, like, get over 
the the, the boldness of it to yep. try to enjoy some of it. Where this one mm-hmm. is kind of like, I just like it. That's not to say that the, the flavor is, is toned down. It's still it's, a good, full, it's very bold, flavorful whiskey. So. It's just not like... Some of those other, the rye ones, like the early ones I remember, just like were so overwhelming on the tongue that I mm-hmm. was like so, like the spice and the alcohol was just like, it was too much. Yeah. Kind of like last week when we were talking about the word over, spi- over uh, flavored steak. Oh, yes. Yeah, over spiced steak over or spi- over spiced yeah. food. Yeah. It was yeah. kind of like that. It was just like, yeah, it was too much. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Um, yeah, I think we found Billy's favorite rye whiskey. Pretty close. I think... I think Balcones made a good one. Yeah. Well, that one was was a hell of a whiskey, you know, and that was barrel proof and everything else. So that was... But I remember it being very different than this, though. Yes, it was. So that's going to come down to your your preferences based on those two. So... Which one you'd rather have. So the the, the advice of the show was to buy both and tell us which one you like better. Yeah, you'd have to. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You can't go wrong there. No, you, you no, know, both both of them like you, you, both of them like deserve to be them. or both drank. of them, right? Yeah, yeah. You, but you'll like one better than the other. How's that? Like you like both, but I don't know. Maybe it's just like for this mood, it's this one, and for a different mood, it's that. Yes, one. yeah. I, I like that idea. Yeah, that's why I have both of them in my cupboard. <laughs> All right, um, this is going long. Yeah, Billy is finishing his, so that means uh, you need to join us next week to figure out what we're going to drink. What are we going to drink I next still, week? I still have flavors coming out. Oh, yeah. That's good. I like it. So pick up some Whistle Pig Six here. Some good stuff, some piggyback. That's Yeah. Yeah, actually. Better than, way better than I expected it to be. It was. Like, I had heard good things about it, but at the same time, like, Let's I do really that do next enjoy week this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it in between the weeks. How's that? All right. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs>